On this week's breaking news, we have a lot of rumors coming in again for 2023. The big wave has finally made a crash, and some of the sets that didn't succeed this year got some discounts. No surprise. So stick around for this week's breaking news. But first, I want to talk about a really cool store, a Brick Monarch Shop. This website is designed for all those AFLs out there that are looking for some great t-shirts with classic logos, some home decor you can put on your walls, such as shields, and some other great iconic aspects from the LEGO history. You can head over to the link in our description for Brick Monarch Shop, and you can get a discount of 10% off using Back to Brick 10. That's Back to Brick 10, the number two, so head over there so you can get some really cool AFL swag. All right, now let's get to the breaking news. Let go. Let go. Let go. Let go. Hey, everybody. News. Welcome back to Back breaking to Brick. News. I'm your host, breaking Garrett, news. and this is the podcast where we breaking talk with fellow AFLs about their LEGO designs and how they went about building them. And we get down to the breaking news every week to talk about all things LEGO has been up to for the past week. I want to thank you all for tuning in to this week's podcast. This is the last one of the year. Crazy that we're finishing up 2022 and starting 2023. And it was a busy year for LEGO and had a lot of adult-focused sets that we saw, a lot of high price sets, and some good sets and some bad sets. I mean, that's every year, but there are some that are just more disappointing than ever, uh, in my opinion. But that is... Uh, that's just my opinion. A lot of you might like those sets. We'll talk more about a couple of them later. For all those that are new to the podcast, thank you and subscribe to the podcast. And we'll continue doing this through 2023. I've tried to figure out the 2023 and me plan. Get it 23 and me style of DNA. Anyways, because it's changing. Everything's changing. I'm going to be in a new job. I'm going to maybe not be living in the same area. We, we just don't know. And that is how life is. That's okay. Changes, things adapt, and really excited to see where we go this next year. Hopefully to grow, um, maybe not just in the podcast, but in the Back to Brick brand as I can. We have finally stopped traveling for the time being. We won't be traveling till the end of the month. We'll be traveling to Lisbon, Portugal. If anyone is there and wants to grab a coffee or a drink, that would be really fun. We would really have a great time meeting you. And you can also show us the sites since we've never been there. And another really fun bit of news, my wife and I got invited to the Insider Tour. And I've been trying for years and years, and it was really fun to get that as a Christmas gift, reading the email, showing that, hey, welcome, you can come to Billund and get this really cool tour. And believe me, I'm going to be there. I am so excited to see the behind the scenes in the flesh or in in the brick uh, as it were i'm going to get a lot of sets of course so it's not only going to be an expensive trip just to go but it's going to be an expensive trip shipping all the stuff i just bought back <laughs> but i am looking forward to it and for this week's set review we're going to review the new tie bomber set 75347 I'm really excited to talk about this set as it is the first recreation of the TIE Bomber since the 1999 set. That's all uh, I have for my admin this week. This is uh, wrapping up the year, and I, I, I'm going to give you the breaking news as I always do, and then we'll continue this through the next year. So let's get into the breaking news. This past year, LEGO created its first Sonic the Hedgehog set. Well, second if you include the Sonic the Hedgehog from LEGO Dimensions. Anyways... And it was just from the LEGO Ideas, and, you know, we usually get one set from the LEGO Ideas. But they did buy the licensing, or at least got approval for that, so why not continue going? And we saw that the track itself kind of had some sections where it could be extended. So this is maybe a similar adaption to how we thought the LEGO Mario series would go, having these scenes from each video game section and building on it. It looks like there's going to be a total of five new sets, ranging from $30 to $100. Now, what could those be? I mean, it's... it's uh, Definitely something interesting to see how they'll adapt these to continue with the uh, Sonic series. I, I get we'll probably get some more characters and some more scenes, not only from the Tropic scene, but maybe some others. Maybe even interacting ones. That would be kind of cool. Um, but I'm hopeful to see that the Sonic series will continue. I did not get this yet. I don't know if I will, but I do love Sonic. It's a classic game, and... These will be some classic Lego sets to go along with it. 
The Great Wave has finally been revealed. Lego Set 31205 Art Hakosai. The Great Wave has finally been revealed. This set is coming in at a price of $99 and it'll have 1,810 pieces. And what I really like about this set is it's, uh, it's a change from their standard Lego art series, which is only two-dimensional. They've added some three-dimensional parts to it. The wave itself has some curvature to it. They have the ships uh, rolling in the waves. I'm excited to actually see this in person. It also has a really nice frame around it. I know I'll be getting this. This is a this is not maybe a first day purchase, but it is up there because it just looks so great. They've done a great job modeling exactly what the wave looks like. And I hope this leads to some other things. Maybe we'll see a three-dimensional Mona Lisa or, um, well, we already got Starry Night, which is three-dimensional too. So these are um, new adaptions to the art series that I truly appreciate and hope to see more of. Now, I don't talk about mocks all that often, but there's this particular one that I found really cool. John Tordoff from Derbyshire has created his Lake District uh, mock. And what's cool, I think, about it is that it isn't a scene or a building or anything. It's a scenic landscape. And most people just don't do that. And it looks beautiful. Rolling hills, some forested areas, as well as mountains uh, breaking through with a, of course, Lake District. And he's done a beautiful job. Um, the It'll be displayed in uh, the Derbyshire Library on the 6th and 7th of January. Um, this set overall is 200,000 pieces so far. He's continuing to add and build on it. And it's not that big, I guess. Uh, it's just that having the detail of the rolling hills and how deep in scale. Uh, he doesn't have an under frame area because, I mean, it's probably really hard to, to do that based on all this. And the water itself takes a lot, a lot of uh, trans pieces. But if you like the Lake District and are in Derbyshire, you can go see it this next week. There's been a lot of snow, and I, I hope a lot of people are safe this holiday season in the United States and in Canada as a giant polar blast came down and did a lot of damage to, well, almost every state in the country. And someone said, well, they needed to figure out how to get the snow out of the way on their Lego train. So a man on BrickCrafts, which is a YouTube channel, has built a snow plow for a train. Now, it's not super strong, uh, but it definitely does the job. I'm going to link a video in the description so you can go check it out. I think that uh, they need to make this again. I know they did one when I was younger um, to attach to the train at the front. I don't think they ever did it again. And the train series has always been lacking to some degree, so this would be fun to add. Even just a snow um, like plow section would be also cool to add. With everybody having a lot of Christmas money, there's time to now buy some Lego. For the first month of January, they're doing a couple gifts with purchase, and we already talked about one, which is the Blacktron Stark or Cruiser, which is, well, it's space. It's a callback to another older set that is from the classic space series. It does have these really cool sections which can be broken apart to have like a little base section and still a little fighter as it were. And this one is with a purchase of $100 or more. Another one is set 40583 Houses of the World. So this is a first house, um, house number one. Um, so I'm guessing that there's going to be a few of them. It does have this two-story house that has a palm tree and a couple box garden sets on top and a stucco or um not stucco like a tiled roof it does have a few stickers here and there this set will be for a gift of purchase it does come with a little chihuahua i'm interested to see what they're going to do for the other ones this is for january and it is a cool little set i would expect it almost to be when i first saw it, it looked like a little from encanto uh house marigal but it does have a south american theme to it and maybe they'll do one for each of the continents so we can look out for seven i wonder what they'll do for antarctica but either way i think these are unique little sets that you can display and continue adding to your lego collection some Lego Star Wars 2023 rumors. We have a total of eight sets potentially coming out. And they're all um, expensive, except for one. One is $15, but the rest we're looking at between $35 to $200. Not sure what a lot of them are going to be. The $200 set could be the... Um, 
uh, the May the 4th set, but we were expecting it to be 240 because of the price increases. I hope that it's 200 That would be nice because then it would stay at the standard UCS scale as we've seen in the past. But now that I'm thinking about it, it probably is a $200 set, but a much smaller piece count of a UCS set. Not sure what it'll be. Could be like a Skyhopper or maybe a uh, land speeder, um, which I think would be, or a speeder bike, excuse me, which I think would be really cool. Some of the other ones, a $160 set, probably another ship of some sort. I hope that, uh, well, we already know that one is going to be the TIE Bomber, um, but these are in addition to that as well. Star Wars is continuing to expand. It is the 20th anniversary of the Clone Wars, and we will be getting that 501 battle pack. So maybe we'll see some more uh, Clone Wars items, question mark. Either way, getting more Star Wars sets, a little bit pricier, and hopefully better designs and some unique builds instead of repeats, as they've been doing for the past, uh, since the beginning. Yep, since the beginning. As I've said quite frequently, the Super Mario series has been a huge success for the younger generations, and maybe adults. I, I know I haven't bought any yet, but I still need to get a Digi figure. But we did see some interesting uh, builds in the larger scale this year with the Bowser, and we did have the question box the last year. Now, what's going to be next? As the Super Mario movie is coming out this year, they've stuck to the same pattern of the character packs and the add-ons to the uh, Mario kind of games as we saw peach's castle and a lot of other things so maybe we'll get some minifigures or sets from the movie style maybe even bowser's ship which would be kind of interesting i'm i'm hoping that they do a mario kart eventually like this is the time this is like it'd be fun to have maybe not the digi figure although the digi figure would work well with uh, the mario kart but you can have different tracks being made and having actual gameplay to it instead of just the hopping around on your own. So let's see what they come up with this year. Maybe from the movie we will get some minifigures and Chris Pratt will get another of his minifigures because he only has, like, I think three now. Uh, it's, it's a lot, which I'm super jealous about, and hopefully one day I'll have a minifigure of my own. After Christmas, LEGO came out with their Boxing Day sale. Now, if you're asking what Boxing Day is, it, go ask someone from the U.K., Honestly, I think it's just, it was a break after kind of a banking holiday after Christmas. I don't know why they call it boxing. Maybe it's to clean up the boxes and have leftovers from Christmas. Either way, LEGO did a sale and they're, I'm pretty sure, continuing it. And some of the sets that are uh, listed, we have almost a $70 sale on the Black Panther build and display bust. Well, we know why. Same with the Queer Eye, uh, $40 savings. Wildlife Rescue Operation, almost uh, $20 of savings, and a bunch of others from Star Wars, Marvel, Harry Potter, Young Adults, and the Brickhead series. So if you haven't collected all the Brickheads, this one's an easy buy as well. Uh, if you're really into the Spice Girls and you haven't, you didn't want to spend $50, you can get it for $15 off at $35. And I think that this is going to continue as they build more and more sets. The prices are getting higher. So we might see more and more discounts over time, which it's still, why don't you just list them at a lower price in general? But a lot of them are just not selling as well because there's just too many and we don't have well, the funds to continue buying things like this all the time. And then we have another huge bust, which is the Hulkbuster armor. This set is now discounted at 20%. That was not very long. The, I'm pretty sure it came out after the Black Panther bust. And it just goes to show that it is... Um, it, well, it's not good. It, it doesn't look great. And we've talked about it before. And it's, uh, it's already discounted, which means that they're not selling very many. And that's quite a bit of... <laughs> of a discount because it's not a cheap set. I don't know if any of you bought it first day. I'm pretty sure every time I walked in the store, they still have some, which doesn't always happen with some more, well, desired sets. If they would have dialed it down and had it more of a minifigure scaled kind of experience to it, I think it would be better. They could have even just had it a little bit bigger, but I, having the Technic style buildable figure in it is a interesting feature doesn't make sense to me so you can get it at a discount it does have some unique parts and you can get that maybe while it's still on sale and uh, before it sells out 
Now, I don't know about you, but I haven't finished my advent calendar, which most of you probably have because you did it every day through December. Uh, since I wasn't home, I wasn't able to do that. But there's already rumors about the 2023 advent calendar sets. We've got, of course, the Friends City, Star Wars, Superheroes, and Harry Potter. Now, the rumor, I guess, is more so that they're just going to be on pricing. Uh, the Star Wars, Superheroes, and Harry Potter are going to now be at $45, which a few of them were, and the City and Friends are going to be $35. I don't really understand how this is going to be a rumor. This is just kind of known as we saw it this year. So I don't really see it as a rumor, but there, there you have it. If you're interested in knowing those, they'll be coming out in September of next year. In the collectible minifigure series, we've seen some license uh, style sets, uh, some from the Looney Tunes and Marvel, and it looks like we're going to get another one. One series from this coming year is going to be a licensed series. I'm not really sure what it's going to be. I know that we're definitely going to get one for the 100th anniversary of Disney. I still need to finish series two, so I should go find those. But this one, I'm guessing, is going to be... I hope it's Star Wars. I really do. Although they come out with a ton of minifigures all the time. But it could be something else. Could maybe be Sonic, as we talked about. There's the other sets coming out. We also have, I mean, how many other licenses that they can work on. Um, it might be another uh, 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 DC or Marvel. I'm, I'm guessing Marvel is a more likely one since they only did one series. And it was very successful. I like that collectible minifigure series series because it added to not only just the standard of the figures we know but mostly from the disney uh tv plus plus excuse me marvel tv shows so we'll stick around and check that out i know i'm excited for the 100th anniversary of disney and we'll probably get some really cool sets to go along with it We've had this before where there's direct-to-consumer sets, which are large sets, not unlike UCS sets, one coming out from different themes. And they're going to be expected to be two this year, one from either Marvel or DC and one from Harry Potter. These are going to be about 3,000-piece sets and come out sometime in the summer. I'm going to expect we'll see a DC one this year as we just got the Marvel one through the Doctor Strange um, Sanctum Sanctorum. And for Harry Potter, we did just get the train, but that doesn't mean that they can't do something else. I'm not sure what it would be, though. Could it be Hagrid's Hut? Could it be um, just a large-scale Buckbeak or something? Either way, I am excited to see these because... It's adding an extra layer, not only to just the UC style, but then you can get more detailed builds and not just have the play scale. But it doesn't mean that you can't have those two. I know that we're going to get another line of those just for um, Marvel and going to get more, of course, from Harry Potter. Either way, we're definitely going to see more and more expensive sets throughout the year as they've done just in the past two. It's been long rumored that Lego is going to convert a lot of its single-use plastic bags that are in their sets to paper, and it's finally happening. In the latest line of the Avatar series, um, the Pyokin and Tolko and Crab Suit set 75579, they actually used a paper bag. For the headpiece of Pyoku, they used a single-use paper bag, which is recyclable. These are uh, going to be adapted for every set, and over time we'll see if they have to ramp up different production styles, but I'm glad to finally see it coming out to the general public. They did this for the uh, employee gifts this last year, and having the Avatar set, which is one of their newest flagship series, getting this means that it's going to be coming quicker than expected, because I think they said that by 2024. Um, so I guess we'll see a lot more in 2023. But this is just their one other step that they're going to carbon neutral, and I'm excited to see how they continue to adapt this, especially in their factories that they're making in the Philippines and in Virginia. As we begin the new year, the Chinese New Year sets are on their way. You can now go and purchase these sets. Um, one is the Money Tree. It's available on, of course, lego.com. It's got 336 pieces, and it's a, it's a potted little plant with these lantern-style lights, and there's some money attached to it, as always. 
And then you can also get a gift purchase in January of the Year of the Rabbit. Um, the rabbit is not all white as expected. It is a white with uh, black uh, accents, I guess, around the legs and on the head with some really fun googly eyes. I'm excited to see these new sets in person because, well, I think that they're always unique and having them now available to the world public instead of just the Asian market was a great move for LEGO to continue to expand because exclusivity only drives up the price and makes it harder and harder for us to always appreciate that LEGO is doing this play for everyone. And that's all the breaking news we have this week. Thank you all for tuning in. I appreciate you spending the time with me to talk about Lego, as I just love to do. And this year has been great. I love each and every one of you that was able to spend time listening to me talk about Lego. I love the conversations I've had through the people on online, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, wherever, and here, because this is just a community that is loving and helpful, and I'll continue to do this as often as much as I can, and I'm going to be building a lot more. I, I've i been working on some of my own designs and trying to get back to the design aspect that I've always loved. It's, it's harder. You know, life gets in the way, and just a part of life is trying to adapt and adjust to what you can do with the time you have. So entering the new year, try to make time for yourself and for the things that you love. And make sure to subscribe to the podcast because I would really appreciate that as we continue to go into the new year. Spread it to your friends and family and just the LEGO community in general. Leave us a review. The more reviews we get, the more people that might be able to see our podcast. And now I'm going to move into our LEGO set review. This is set 75347 Thai Bomber. It's going to come at a price of $65 or $64.99. It has 625 pieces. It's rated age 9 plus, and you'll earn 422 VIP points. It comes with three minifigures. We have Darth Vader, Vice Admiral Sloan, and a TIE Fighter Pilot, also a Gonk Droid. This is the first recreation of this set that was introduced in 1999 with the original year of the LEGO Star Wars series. It does come with the um, some rockets as well as a transport kind of vessel for the missiles. This uh, this set is really nice. I think they did a great job kind of adapting what we saw in the original one to now. What also is really interesting, and a lot of people might know, is that the TIE Bomber was only in one of the movies, I think, for less than 30 seconds. But it's an iconic vehicle since it was one of the uh, ones that kind of detonated some mines over the space worm. And it has some rockets that will actually shoot out of one of the sides um, and in the front. And I believe it has downward dropping bombs. And having these action features is very playable. But I also can call back to those original sets. I, honestly, I can't believe it's the first time they've remade this. They've remade the TIE Fighter about 700 times. I think that's honestly undervaluing how many times that they did it. And at 70 or $65, it's a little over $0.10 cents per piece, which is pretty much a LEGO standard. Having the actionable features, especially the downward bomb dropping features, I think is really cool. And having three minifigures that are all brand new. Um, they all have their own individual designs. I don't even think they've done Vice Admiral Sloan before. So this is a wonderful new Star Wars set. I highly encourage everyone to get this if you're a Star Wars fan. I know I'm going to try to. Saving up money for all this stuff is becoming impossible. I just need to find a job that makes more money. <laughs> but that will probably go towards retirement instead of Lego. We'll see. That's my next goal in 2023 is the ambassador program. So I'm going to push really, really hard so that I can review these sets and uh, hopefully get to keep them. Well, that's all I have today. Thank you so much for tuning in. And I hope you all have a happy new year. I'll leave you as I always do. Get creative, get out there, and go build something.